Hello! Welcome back to another story with me, Miss Ellis. So today's story is the next one on from The Lonely Beast. So if you haven't seen that one, um, I recommend you watch that one first. And the follow-up one is called The Brave Beast. So they're great books. I hope you do enjoy them. So get yourself nice and comfortable. Let's begin. The beast was resting in his peaceful garden after a long day's work. When he heard the noise of an aeroplane coming into land. Beast! Beast! We need your help! said the pilot, rushing from the plane. Wonder what's gone on. Run! happened. There's a scary noise coming from the middle of our island. Everyone is so frightened that they have left. It must be a truly ferocious monster to make so much noise. Will you help us to get rid of it please? The beast felt very scared. Oh, he looks scared, doesn't he? Show me your scared faces. Oh. You see the sweat coming off his head. Oh. But he decided to be brave and help the islanders. So they both boarded the plane and off they set. When they reached the island, the pilot was too scared to land. So the beast bravely leapt from the plane. Oh, splash! And he swam ashore. He made his way towards the village. Whoa! He called out nervously, but it was deserted. He walked towards the middle of the island until he reached a deep, dark tunnel in the cliff. He crawled inside, climbed up and up and up over, across, under, took a little rest. Then he continued under, around, up, up again, until finally, he reached the far side of the island. He made his way through a spooky forest which got thicker and thicker until it got very dark. Gosh, he's so brave, isn't he? Uh-oh. the beast edged his way towards it. Plucking up all his courage, the brave beast peered around the trunk and saw... Oh, what do you think he's going to see? Oh. 
a teeny little bird. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Surely it wasn't you making all that noise? Asked the beast in disbelief. The little bird explained that he had got lost and had landed on the island. Oh no! I'm sorry that I made so much noise and frightened the islanders. <laughs> he sobbed. But I was very lonely and I couldn't stop crying. <laughs> oh. The beast went back to the village and phoned the pilot to let him know it was safe for the islanders to return. Whew. Don't worry, said the beast. I'm sure that the islanders will look after you when they hear what has happened. The islanders were very happy to return home. Relieved that the beast had solved the mystery, the islanders were only too happy to invite the little birds to live with them. Hmm. They gave him a job in the lighthouse and he was thrilled as it made him feel very important. Wow! He's at it again. <laughs> the grateful islanders waved the brave beast goodbye and said that he was welcome to come and stay any time. But the beast was very happy to be home again in his peaceful garden. Dot, 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 ooh. Until his next adventure, at least. Oh, look at him there. Don't you just love a happy ending? Mm -mm -mm. And guess what? I've got the next one. Where is it? Here it is. The next one in these stories is called The Snow Beast. So do check it out on my channel. I hope you enjoy it. I do love these books. They're so good, aren't they? <laughs> so take care of yourselves and I shall see you soon for another story. Bye. <laughs> if you like that story, let me know by giving me a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Love to learn with Miss Ellis. Take care. Bye for now.